Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and today we're working on block two of Home is Where the Haunt is. Now, this is the block we're working on. This is the hat block right here, and it's also right here in this bright way. And let me show you mine. Here's mine. Little different colors. I think mine is going to end up being a combination of both bright and uh, um, whatever this is called. <laughs> more primitive, more primitive y. Anyway, so what we're going to do first is we're going to open our pattern to section two. And you're going to look at your materials needed, and it gives you all the fabrics that you need right up here and tells you how to cut them. So what we have to do is make this background piece. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece that is 12 inches wide by 18 inches long. And then we have strips we're going to have to cut to the, on the side to fill it out. So the first strip, the long strip that goes on the side, is 3 by 18 inches. And you'll see that right down here in this where it says cut the following. You'll be able to see that yourself. We also have to put a set of blocks on the other side. You can see on my finished one here, I have one long set on the left side, and then I have three smaller pieces on the right side. The smaller pieces are um, three by seven, two or three by seven, and one is three by five. So I have a couple of pieces here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one five inches. And one of the things I love three, four, five, is that I can use scraps on this. And I, I mean, I have, I just save these little pieces because you just never know. So we're gonna sew, we're gonna sew this one and this one and this one together and it will make this side of our block. So let's go to the sewing machine and we'll sew these pieces together and this piece onto the block and we will have the background for our witch hat. All right, first I'm going to sew these three little ones together. So I'm going to put my spiders and my beige piece on. And then I'm just going to trim these threads and sew the other piece on. There we go. I line it up, sew a quarter of an inch. And then it should be the same size as the side of my block. And let's just check to make sure. Looks like we're going to be pretty close right there. So then I'm just going to sew this on to the right side of the block of our big, you know, our 12 by 18 center piece. And I didn't iron this um, because it's just those three pieces. You can iron if you want. And I'm just going to. Uh, Go ahead and sew mine on and then I'll iron all at once. Now my other strip over here is going to be uh, on this other side and it's just, it's already one long strip. So I'm just going to line that up with the edge of my block and go ahead and sew that. There we are at the end of that. All right, so let's go press this. Press it all open, see what we get. And I am pressing it with my seam. Here you can see this. My seam is gonna go to the outside on this. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever, whatever way you'd like. That's just, how, uh, that's just how I'm doing it. And we'll just press it down. Okay, so now we have the back of our block finished and we're ready to put the hat on. So now what you're going to do is you're going to trace your pattern onto this heat and bond. You're going to trace onto the paper side and not the lumpy side. So you're going to lay this over your um, pattern and you can see right through it so it's really easy to trace. So I'm just going to trace this hat band right here first like this. Then you're going to go ahead and use your heat and bond trace your hat and trace your spider and trace your brim also because the hat needs a brim. 
Now when you get them all traced, what you're going to do is you're going to rough cut around them like this. It's just a, just a, you know, quick cut. We're not cutting close. And then you can see I have my pieces here. I have cut out my brim and the brim you want to note it's made in two pieces but you just lay those together when you're tracing so it makes one long piece. Here's my hat and here's my, my little brim piece and here's my little spider so I've done all my tracing. Now I've decided that I want to make a purple hat so I have some purple here and I'm going to iron this onto the back side. So here's my hat piece right here and I'm going to iron it onto the back of this and I can iron my my um, my brim on at the same time see if I can save any material by turning this a certain way maybe over here there we go so now I'm just going to press this on you don't need to hold it on a really long time you just want to make sure that it's it's nice and adhered and stuck on there really good Make sure I get all this bottom part down here. All right, I think it's stuck on there pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is, now's when we cut out carefully. So I'm gonna bring my fabric up here and I'm gonna cut right on my trace line. And if I have any wiggles on my trace line, I'm just gonna cut you know, straight across them so that I make sure that I have a nice, even line. Gonna cut right up the side here. Around the top and down the other side. There we go, and there is the body of my hat. And now we just need to cut out the brim. Alright, I'm almost finishing up the end of my brim here. Round the corner and we're done. Now, let me just put this over here so you can see how this looks on here. Because your brim stretches across both points. But I need my hat band. And I think I'm going to go with a green hat band. So I'm going to iron that on here. This is the hat band piece that you saw me trace out. I'm just going to go nice, make sure it's on there real good, trim it out, and it looks like such a funny shape, but it fits on there really good. There we go. So now here's my hat band shape. It goes this way. And you just slide it down until your edges meet up with the edge of the hat right there. So now what we have to do is we have to be brave and actually attach it. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to peel this fabric off the back. And you can do that by rolling an edge like this. It'll come off. And your fabric should have this plasticky uh, feel on it. That's the sticky stuff. Let's do this one too. We'll get all these opened. If it doesn't peel well by rolling the edge, you can always um, do a little slice in it with your scissor like this, and it will come right off of there. That one's done. And then this one over here, we want to do this. All right, so now let me move this whole thing over to my ironing board, and I'm going to turn my pad the long way so that it fits on here really nicely because you want to make sure you iron this all at once. So when you go to set your hat on your background you want to make sure that it's tilted up just a little bit on the left hand side. You want to make sure that your brim goes across on both edges. I'm going to need to scoot this over just a little more. 
and you want to go ahead and put your hat band on get everything on there and set so now you're just going to iron your hat onto your background make sure this piece is on your left side go ahead and iron that on then you want to iron your little spider on and I have my little spider he's he's black I traced him out already and I just want a plain black spider so I'm just going to cut out that circle right here and then I'm going to look at the picture on the front of the pattern to see kind of where he's placed and he's down about here so I'm going to go ahead and peel him off and iron him on as well so there he is and I'm just going to kind of touch him lightly so now you've got your block ironed on and you're ready for the finishing touches. What you're going to do is you're going to use a decorative stitch and stitch all the way around your hat. The brim pieces, the hat band pieces, you're going to stitch everything down. You're going to stitch around your spider and you're just going to let yourself be creative. You can use a rickrack to come down here and you can embroider the legs on. That's what the pattern suggests. I used um, rickrack on mine right here and I even used the rickrack for the legs but my granddaughter just pointed out that spiders have eight legs so he's only an insect at the moment so we need to we need to make him a full-fledged spider but there was also a gal in the class who used her decorative stitch to come down here to the spider for the spider web so just let your artist side come out and have a little fun with this we also make a flower for this block and it's made just long strips that we use a running stitch and cinch them up three different sizes put them together with a button but we will cover those uh, we'll cover those embellishments a little bit later in another lesson so take a look at these quilts again behind me this one here is done with a contrasting thread and so you can really see the blanket stitch and it's just really fun and pretty it also has the large rick rack for the spider web and hand embroidered legs on this one over here we've got a zigzag that's also done in a contrasting thread and we've got the rick rack and the hand embroidered legs on our little spider and notice these flowers I mean they just look so cute on the hat and they're really easy to make and a pretty button for the middle so keep your eye out for a pretty button for when we get ready to make our flower so we hope you enjoyed block two of home is where the haunt is from the Missouri Star Quilt Company